Hello everyone. Today we are excited to have an announcement and that announcement is we are in the process of creating a UI and UX library as you can see uh, here. I'm, it's, not, it's not over yet obviously and we are in the process of building it. It's very early in the process but I thought it's a good idea for you guys to see how it actually looks like. So as you can see we have a bunch of components and stylings, starting with typography. You can see that we sort of provide the default uh, typographies based on our library. We have almost six, which is this list is gonna grow, a list of uh, colors that you can use in your project. So primary, primary alternative, secondary green, and you can always go ahead and copy and paste the hex and use it in your projects. We obviously have a default greeting system as you can see over here, pretty standard uh, for your layouts. Then we have uh, something that we're proud of, the navigation. As you can see here, we have a top navigation, which has a logo here and a menu, uh, a little bit of how to use it, and then different item styles. So for example, this one is border, then you can have highlights, and also you can have underlines. And the other thing is that you can actually position your uh, menu to the right, and to the center. And obviously it's also responsive as you can see over here. The next element is card, uh, how to use it, how it looks like, how to apply the classes to get this look and feel. And also, as you can see here, we have an example of a card which has a title, subtitle, an image, a text, and also the actions down here. You can go ahead later on and see the HTML as well. The other one is modal, obviously, uh, default dialogue, as you can see over here. Then we have something called contextual menu, or as it's now drop-down menus, as you can see over here. Uh, you can trigger it based on the context that this, you know, button is. You also can have the alerts, so the look and feel of the alerts are like this. Uh, you can go ahead and close them. You can add your own text, for example, over here. We have different types of buttons, as you can see, different colors based on the color palette that you saw earlier, uh, different types of, you know, rounded shapes, uh, different sizes, obviously, and some of the examples over here with their HTML. Then we have form elements, uh, different types of inputs, inline form, checkboxes, as you can see, radio buttons and, you know, toggle switches. As you can see, this list is not complete. We're working on it. You can have different types of lists. It shows how the list looks like. As you can see, you can use lists for vertical menus as we have over here. This one, for example, is built using the list system. Uh, settings and preferences, and obviously list of profiles, for example. Uh, different types of uh, Jambatron or heroes. As you can see, this is the default one. And then you can have a rounded border down here and tilted as well uh, to the right and to the left. Then we have a bunch of components, very exciting. So one of them is on scroll reveal. For example, in this prototype, if I scroll down, you will see that images are sort of revealing themselves based on the scroll, as you can see over here. We have background parallax. Uh, so if you notice when I scroll down, the background has this nice parallax effect. It actually works on the mobile phones as well, which is pretty cool. And then we are in the process of carousel. We haven't started it yet. And we are super excited about this uh, library and we hope that you guys can enjoy using it when it's out. And the reason why we started building this comprehensive list is that we really wanted to consider creating every type of cool layouts and websites that are out there, right? So this this kind of library will support all of that with only and only using this library. So you don't hopefully need at any point to use any third library apart from this one. So I hope you enjoyed this announcement. Uh, stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And we are as excited as you are. I wish you a great day and night for you and see you next time. Goodbye.